So you guys may be aware of a few creators promoting this game called Paradise. Now before you look any further, it's not a real game. It's just stock and real engine 5 assets turned into a video to promote a scam that steals emails and passwords. Allegedly. There is no game. Now of course I did an original video about this about a week ago, talking about how they'd offered to pay me to promote this, and of course I rejected them. Well over the past week I've spoke to a few creators that are promoting them, and I'm relieved to say that most people have deleted their videos about Paradise. However, some creators are straight up saying they don't care about ripping you, the fans, off. Desmond is a creator that's done a few videos about Paradise, so I reached out and told him that it's a scam. At first, it seemed like he genuinely made a mistake. I explained that this company are not working with Ninja and it's all fake. From there, the conversation shifted a little bit. Now, he stated that he can't do anything because he's in a paid agreement. When a paid agreement requires you to break numerous laws and promote a scam to an audience, it's immediately void. You're legally not going to be expected to honor an agreement that requires numerous data compliance laws to be broken. Broken. I was then told to chill out. Despite numerous people showing me that they'd had password reset emails from their social media after entering their details into the scam site, this doesn't appear to be something that Desmond cares about, and we'll talk about this in a little second. My main issue here is that as we get bigger as creators, we inherit a social responsibility to you guys, the viewers. We have to make sure to do our due diligence, because of course we want to be able to take brand deals. Advertising revenue on YouTube isn't great, it's only a couple of dollars for every thousand views. So of course we like to take brand deals to make our content more profitable and to make this more sustainable to do for longer. If we can make more money from one video, we can spend longer on one video without having to worry about things like rent and bills as much. Sponsors really help the creator economy. And at the end of the day, if someone posts a 20 minute video, 60 seconds of that video being dedicated to a sponsor that you might find useful generally makes the whole creator ecosystem a little bit better for everyone involved. Now, when they first reached out to me, it was actually Jetro that pointed out to me that it didn't quite look right and of course that made me look deeper into it half of us as gta creators we're in group chats we look out for each other and we make sure we all do what's best for the interest of the community because without you guys we're just lunatics talking to ourselves now for me the straw that really broke the camel's back in this instance is that Desmond has deleted all the comments from people talking about it being a scam. And some of these comments are people talking about how they've been affected by this scam. Regardless of whatever agreement Desmond had with this company, deleting comments will never be a part of it. So this is Desmond intentionally trying to hide the fact it's a scam. Overall, I don't think we should accept creators like this in the community. We are all here because we're stoked for GTA 6 and to have someone inside the community exploit us is wild. We didn't stand for it with Lispy Jimmy or Sanando, so we shouldn't stand for it now. As we get more GTA 6 news, for example, when we get trailer 2 and more trailers coming next year, and of course when the game's released, every GTA creator will gradually get bigger. And when you get bigger, that's a bigger audience. And when that's a bigger audience, that has a bigger social responsibility and a bigger impact for things such as this. I think that as a YouTuber, if your ethics aren't in place at one subscriber, they won't be in place at a million subscribers. I'm not making this video to try and get Desmond off the platform. I'm making this video as a bit of a warning shot. Desmond if you see this, please think more ethically about the community you're in. But also, a lot of you guys have messaged me asking me to collab with Desmond. I wasn't massively aware of his content I had seen him floating about here or there, but things like this is what turn the rest of the community against you and stop collabs from happening. So please dude, delete those paradise videos, prevent children from getting scammed, because I personally don't think it's too late to recover from something like this. You're a small creator, you've just started like the rest of us, you will make mistakes. Thank you all so much for watching today's video. Hopefully you took something worthwhile away from this video and I'll see you all in the next one.